Ah, uh, there we go. Hello again, my friends. Brian E, aka Miss Grithams87. And hey now, you're an all star. <laughs> Super Mario All Star, that is. 1993 compilation released on the Super NES. Comprised of all of the NES games that were released, including uh, this particular version. Also featured Super Mario World, which at the time was the newest Mario game. It also features what is called Super Mario The Lost Levels, which is the Japanese version of Super Mario Bros. 2. It's, it's, it's well known by now. The year after the first Mario Bros. was released, they did Mario Bros. 2, which used the same formula, you know, same graphics, same music, you know, and, but, you know, added a few new things, like newer levels, more levels, and also uh, became was uh, considered far more difficult than the original. So it never got a U.S. release. Instead, we got the other Super Mario Bros. 2, which is a uh, reskinning of a game that was released in Japan called Doki Doki Panic. And that became Super Mario 2. In Japan, it's referred to as Super Mario USA, which is pretty cool. And then this got released as part of the All-Stars collection. Uh, this, this collection was also uh, re-released on the Wii in 2010 to coincide with the 25th anniversary of the first Mario Brothers game. Super Mario Brothers, that is. And then uh, in 2020, it was released for the Switch for the 35th anniversary. So, we're going to whip through these games, uh, and we're not going to go in any particular order. In fact, I'm going to start with uh, what some would consider the Black Sheep. Mario Brothers 2. Our Mario Bros. 2. Originally released in 1988, it's gotten the 16-bit, uh, freshening up. A new coat of paint, if you will. In fact, you can consider this like an early version of what they would consider to be an HD remix. <laughs> you know, better graphics, you know, newer graphics, newer music, everything like that. Gotta be Luigi. So yeah. This is a more radical, uh, game in that... The first Mario Brothers is left to right, almost exclusively. This one experimented with the idea of going up and down. I mean, you start by going down, and then throughout the game, you end up going up, climbing up, jumping up, flying up, whatever. And you go for that. So let's, uh, have some fun here. There we go. And this also experimented with the idea of instead of jumping on enemies and squashing them, you jump on enemies. Throw them. And then we also get this in a potion. Points for the bonus game after the end of the level. And the mushroom gives you an extra heart. Piece. That's another thing. You have more than two, you can get more than two hits in this game. Before, you were just limited to one hit if you're small, or if you're big, you get small. See there? See, I just got hit once, but I'm still big. Haha. Uh -huh. Pow block. Boop. Cherries are cool. Pick up five cherries, and then a star appears. Grab the star, and you're invincible. Standard Mario fare by now. Also, sometimes a heart will pop up. It usually happens if you knock out multiple enemies at one time, or you knock them all out within a quick amount of time. Oh. And I choose Luigi because he does the middle feathery kicks. Plus, also he jumps higher. Whee! Drop. Boom. We all done. Drop a bomb. Bomb. Get the turtle shell. Boop. Hey, there's my star. Yep. Classic two. Did I just pick it? Did I just hit somebody with that and then pick it up again? That is badass. I like that. Pick up five big radishes, then you can pick up the clock to stop time. Hey, everybody, freeze. Go this way. Shortcut. And, oh, can't get up there, huh? Pull down. Super job. See if I can. Yeah, there we go. Alright, see if I can drop this. Hip. Close. Alright, let's try this again. Later. <laughs> uh, this is where we're introduced 
thanks to Birdo, who in the credits for the original Mario Brothers 2 was erroneously labeled as Ostro, and the ostrich enemy was named Birdo. Whoops. And of course, there's always a thing of, is Birdo a, a boy or a girl? You know, we're in the bow, and it's like, well, just like Miss Pac-Man, wouldn't that mean it's a girl? I don't know. Girl slot machine. I'm never good at these, even, especially real life. Ooh, cherry's good. You get a cherry in the first one, it's an extra life. Yeah. I'll take it. And what's cool is at the end of each level, you can change your character. You can be whoever the hell you want. And the end of the game keeps track of how many worlds you completed as each character. A lot of these characters would make appearances in later Mario games, so even though this game, some people wouldn't consider it canon, you might as well consider it canon because a lot of these characters continue to make appearances in Mario games to this day. Do I? Just like in uh, the first game, there are warp zones, or at least warp pipes. You can go down one, and it takes you to a later level. And, yep. Haha! Uh, -ha. I just, I just bypassed that entire area. It's like uh, Viviana in the Thousand Year Door, where uh, the description varies based on what country you're in, and then also what characters you interact with. Ah! Where it's like, oh, it's really a boy, but thinks it's a girl, or it's a trans. It's like, no, I don't know. Credit to Nintendo for, uh, you know, playing around with it, leaving it open. Come up. Two more. Boink. Boink. Ooh, that's another life. Come on, let's see if I can get one more. Go for ten. There we go. Guess I am kind of lucky after all. Uh, in some cases. Going back to here. up and it's just gonna run out. Oh, get that, at least. Eh. Can take advantage of the star, but... Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a thing? Oh, 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 that was bullshit. I was jumping. I think I broke something there. I didn't know I could knock the logs back up. I don't think anybody would have known. Well, someone, people know. 
but they gotta know. By now, you know, 35 years later, people gotta know. I did it again! Aha, at least took out a fish. This is where I could use the, uh... That's the last world. So unlike uh, the other Mario games, it's not eight worlds in this game, it's seven. Mouser! If I correctly, he, along with some of the other characters in this game, make appearances in uh, the Super Mario Bros. cartoon, the one from the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Because they did that before they did uh, a separate Super Mario Bros. 3 cartoon. Crap, I forgot about the bomb. I forgot my bombs blow up too! 
least it starts with the, at least it starts with the uh, boss. See if I can get my extra lives back. How about that? Life. Give me a cherry. Give me that cherry. Crap. I don't know. That's still good. Yeah, let's mix it up. I'll, I'll do I'll do one character for each world. So now we're in world two. Let's be someone other than Luigi. Let's go Toad. Toad is faster. He picks up items faster, but he doesn't jump as high. And for those of you who haven't played it, another cool thing about it: you can save your game. You can pick up where you left off, because Super NES games were some of the ones that, uh, like some of the NES games, had a battery backup. So we'll save, and we'll come back next time. World 2. You can even go back and go back to World 1, but if you save, if it saves after that, then you're stuck back there. So we're going to leave it there. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode. I think we're going to have some fun. Especially since, I don't know, so maybe if I'm feeling up to it, I'll go through all these games. Best I can. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. It's Brian E. aka Mr. Grizzlies87 saying thank you all for watching, thank you all for tuning in, thank you all for playing along. It's Mario. You gotta have some fun with it. Alright, y'all take care now, and I will be.